hello okay so it's our first ever seek the joy live today we are meditating with dina ray of wisdom healings we'll give everybody a chance to get on all right dina i added you so hopefully it works Hi. hello can you hear me okay i can hear you can you hear me yes amazing okay i figured we would give people a couple of moments to get on. Oh, I just had an alert pop up that you and I are going live. <laughs> it's like, I know I'm here. I'm doing it. How are you? Are you enjoying the rain in LA? Yeah, it's nice. It's cozy, you know, just to be home. And um, I'm so excited to be here with you today. So. Me too. Me too. I've been thinking about it, you know, all morning because I just realized last night was the full moon. So I think the timing of this Right. is really good and really interesting. Exactly. Yeah, I think there's some really great energy we can tie into today with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I figured we would, I would start off, I just want to share with everybody. So this is our new series. It's called Seek the Joy Live. And my hope and my intention is really um, for it to be an extension of the conversations that you hear on the podcast. And so I'm so excited to do this with you because you're on Joy Corner this week. You're on Stories of Inspiring Joy. You're everywhere. And then we're doing this. So this is going to be so much fun. So I thought we would start off, um, talk a little bit about you, talk a little bit about your work. Um, I wrote some things down because <laughs> I didn't want to forget anything. So you are an intuitive energy healer and you're the founder of wisdom healing and what i find so interesting and you shared this in uh your story on monday just your journey with wisdom healings it was really a soul calling so i would love it if you could share just a little bit about your work um and then we'll we'll go from there yeah um so it was definitely a calling it's something you know spirituality has been in my life and listening to intuitive guidance my entire life. Mm. And then in a background at a professional level, you really have to you know, use your right brain, hear that intuitive guidance with clients of like understanding beneath the surface of what they want. Yeah. And, you know, logical data and how to apply that. So for me, this just felt like a natural transition, which might not sound, you know, <laughs> like it is for other people. Yeah. So, as a, instead of solving problems for a company, right? I'm really working individually to help solve a problem. And when I was working with business owners, executives, same sort of thing of like, how do we kind of break through underneath the layers and really help them to solve? And then empathy is such a big part of it as well. So that we're really understanding at the root of it, like what does a consumer want? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with like, you know, a human being of like, how do, how do we work with each other to help get what we want in our life? whatever that is, so that we can see like what our blocks are and kind of helping ourselves get out of the way mm -hmm. so, because sometimes we want something, but underneath that are fears, anxieties, worries that we may not even realize we're conditioned and programmed. And not that it's bad that we have those because I never want to point the finger or blame any caretaker, but just the fact that um, it's just outdated or we, we may want to change and transition and how to really understand that and kind of look at the shadow side, the deeper side, without judgment, and then using that to move forward. And then also understanding how that intuitive guidance works. So it's really, yeah. you know, understanding ourselves to understand our own wisdom. wisdom. Yeah. So looking at the outside world as telling us who we are and what we need to do. So we're always looking for this external piece of information. And then I think what you just, oh, sorry, go ahead. I think there's a delay, but I was going to say, I think what you just shared is so interesting how there's so many layers and every layer serves a purpose. And so there isn't a right or wrong. Yes, there's shadow and light, but even that shadow side of self plays a role. And so it's about getting to know it and understand the role that it plays, I think, in your life. Exactly. You know, like that's, it's a tough thing to go through, right? You know, no one wants to feel bad or feel pain, but really they're just calls and lessons to learn and be able to pull out of that. So I love working with clients through that of like holding that space of letting them just be and mm -hmm. really to not judge. Like the fear, the guilt, the, the frustrations, like we need to feel them. We're supposed to feel all of them, but not hold on to it too long. Mm -hmm. 
and just take a step back and really have that like bird's eye view of all of the situations going on in life and then see, okay, this is really why this is coming up for me because I really want this. I really need this. I really need to heal from this. Mm -hmm. then... Yeah. I think it's so interesting what you just shared and the way it really ties in so beautifully to our meditation today, which is about grounding more into yourself. Um, I think in general, but also for this new year. And we were talking a little bit at the beginning, just how interesting the timing is with the, it was a full moon yesterday, right? So just the timing of it, I think is interesting because for me at least, coming out of 2020 felt a little chaotic still. Like I was like a shot out of a cannon a little bit. And now I think we're, we're obviously towards the end of January, we're stepping into February, which feels like a new month, obviously a new energy things feel a little bit more grounded. Have you been feeling that way too? Just things are a little bit more settled than they were even a month ago? Yeah, I do. Um, I, I feel like the kind of analogy I've been using and you know, there's always a bit of an unknown. We've never, like, we can't really ever guarantee anything in life. And this mm -hmm. is the global transition that we're doing. So we're starting to see like 2020 was, we saw the cracks in the foundation and 2021 is where we start to unravel and kind of, I don't want to deconstruct, but deconstruct to rebuild. Mm -hmm. but yeah, there's kind of this nice like pause for us to take a breath and see like, what really do we want to get into? So I love, I love the fact, like I always love grounding because we just need that. We really need to feel secure and safe and what that means for us. And then I also thought with this full moon, especially in Leo, um, just really how do we expand ourselves and move forward and think about how we want to be in the world and it's a Leo full moon. So it's just like, let's kind of look at the next six months so that we can kind of see what we want for ourselves and step into that energetically and feel that. And mm -hmm. just, so whatever it is, um, I, the word manifestation is a little bit, it feels a little bit trendy. So I really want to kind of replace it with expand because it's not necessarily about these things out in the world that I want to acquire, but more of like how do I want to expand myself, my skill sets, my responsibilities, my capabilities, and feel what that's like so I can start moving it closer to me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love this. It's about being expansive and allowing yourself to stretch and move into all the things that you are really ready for and excited about. So I think we should dive in. I think we should start meditating. What do you think? I'm ready. Okay. So I will let you take it away. I'm so excited. I feel like this is the perfect way to just really move through into our weekend. So Dina, whenever you're ready, I'm ready. I think everyone who's tuning in is ready too. Awesome. So go ahead and um, find a comfortable spot and um, take a couple deep breaths and close your eyes and definitely like feel yourself ground into the core of the earth, all the way down into the core and feel that energy move up into you and feel the connectedness of Mother Earth and the safety and security that's underneath you. Know that uh, Gaia holds you safe and that you're secure as she possesses and um, keeps you in her, in her realm. So as you're in this space, feel the core of this energy move up through your body, through your feet, through your legs, all the way up into your heart space. And just take a moment to feel what's in your heart without any judgment. Feel the love of the earth, feel the love that surrounds you, feel the love for yourself. Just start to permeate through your heart space, and then out around you. As you feel this energy pulsing around you, see, feel it expand out, knowing that you're connected to the core of the earth, that you're safe and secure. And imagine this translucent golden bubble around you, egg-shaped, 
And this is your space. This is a space just for you to be in this moment in time. If you're connected to your guides, if there's any messages that wanna come through, and just really feel this space, feel this love. And take a moment to reflect on this last year. And just go through each season, starting from a year from, from now. And think about all the highlights, all the lessons, all of the tools, everything that you've learned about yourself, about your relationships. Going into the spring, going into the summer, going into the fall, going into the winter. And as you're in this moment in time, in this space, Look at all of the beautiful tools that you have to carry with you as you move forward into this next year. Well, how wonderful that you've, all the work that you've done being in this space, working on all of the things. And take a moment to think about what it is that you want to move towards in your life how you want to be in life in the next six months. And imagine what that looks like, feels like. And see it as a hologram out in front of you. Think about how your day would be, your relationships would be, what could be around you. And just have a, a sense of where you wanna go. Now take a moment to move towards that holographic future self, step by step, getting closer and closer to feeling what that future self is doing and being. Imagine that energy and that hologram fusing into your body, into your space. And you are now one with that future self. Feel what that feels like inside of you. See if there's anything that changes in your body, in your heart, in your mind. Listen for any intuitive guidance, any symbols that come, and just let them come in. Feel yourself expanding in your space, in your bubble, expanding even further, knowing that you're connected to Earth. You're safe and secure. Expand as far out as possible and just be in this space with yourself. Take a moment to look around, 
See what your environment looks like. See who's around you in your life, the relationships that you hold. See the shifts. See the comfort. See what's the same. Be in this space, this new space, filled with love in this expanded version of you. See if there are any messages that come from spirit about this new space, this new environment, this new feeling, this expanded self that helps you get there, helps guide you, helps let you embrace this fully, this feeling that you have. Take a moment to feel the confidence and the security that this will happen for you, that this is already coming into being, that so it is, it will be, and it will exist, that it already exists now in this moment, that you and your future self are one and the same. That the time in between is just time and there's small steps that we'll take to get you there. Take a moment to feel all of this love and support as you expand into this bigger version of you, this new version of you, this revised version of you. And hold on to this feeling as you walk into your path. Take a moment to get any final thoughts or messages from spirit about this journey that you're about to embark on, about this energy surrounding you, anything you need to know. When you're ready, start to feel yourself in this space, in your space, in your room. Feel your body come back into the now. Feel yourself connected to the core of the earth. Feel your fingers and your toes. Holding on to that energy, come on back into this moment in time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to know what people thought. That was amazing. Yeah, and I would recommend that if you have any thoughts that have come through, it would be a great opportunity to just drop them down so you don't forget. And also, um, would be great to write down whatever came that you can reflect back in a few months and see how that journey really was. Mm. Thank you for letting me share that. Thank you. That was beautiful. 
That was beautiful. You tuned in and you meditated with us. Drop in some of your thoughts maybe into the uh, chat box or if you're watching the replay, add it to the comments. I'd love to know what this experience was like for you. I thought it was beautiful. It's so calming and grounding. And I think the visual of grounding yourself into the earth right now, I think more than ever is so helpful because we can often feel, I think, chaotic or like you're on autopilot and you know you feel disconnected just taking a moment to think about grounding yourself into the earth something that someone once told me that I thought was really helpful and interesting was imagine a cord um, from the root of your spine or the base of your seat and dropping it into the earth and just even visualizing that connection I think can make such a difference Absolutely. And it's such a great, I'm so glad you bring that up because it's such a great, easy technique to do as mm -hmm. is going on just to mm -hmm. feel when we're watching the news, being out in the world and we don't know what it is. It's just a really easy way to like plug back in. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, this has been lovely. Like I shared at the beginning, you and I, we had a big week of collaborating together. We're on Joy Corner yesterday, Stories of Inspiring Joy, which is our sister podcast on Monday. And when I just, and I had a session with you, I have to talk about that for a second. And I had a session with you, which was really beautiful and profound in the way in which you do your healing work is so gentle. And I think um, I really gravitate towards healing work that is gentle in nature. I think more in the feminine, feminine as opposed to the masculine, not as harsh or intense. So it was perfect for me. Um, and a theme that came up is very similar to what we talked about today in sense of grounding, but for me, the sense of security. So I would encourage anybody that's listening to please check out Dina and Wisdom Healing um, because you really, I think you really lead with your heart and coming from the space of wanting to serve and wanting to help others, I think, step into the healing and um, intuitive awareness that you've developed for yourself. So where can everybody find you, uh, connect with you, dive into your healing work and, uh, and learn more. Yeah. Instagram, it's wisdom underscore healings and wisdomhealings.com. And then there's also a Facebook page, but that's probably the two easiest ones to take a look, read a little bit more and connect. Perfect. 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 I'm going to save this. Uh, it'll live on our IGTV. So I hope people will come back and watch it and meditate with us multiple times. Um, Cause I think this is a meditation you can use for any time in life. So Dina, thank you. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for joining me for our inaugural uh, Seek the Joy Live. And I can't imagine, um, I think a better way to start it than a grounding meditation. So this has been so much fun. Um, for everybody that's joining now, this will be saved and will live on our IGTV. It'll also go up on YouTube everywhere. So you can still tune in and meditate with us. And uh, Dina, thank you. I hope you have a good weekend. Stay, stay dry. I don't think it's going to rain anymore, but we'll see. Thank you so we'll much. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.